All right, this is lesson seven from the Adobe Animate CC Classroom in a Book. And this is about, or this is over the natural and character animation with inverse kinematics. And so on this first uh, section, we're going to build an armature uh, with the bone tool. And this is also known as character rigging. Um, so let's get started and let's, uh, in our library over here, we're going to select all of the monkey parts, except we're not going to select the background. So all of the monkey, um, and these are all movie clips, and we're gonna drag these to our stage. And then we're gonna um, set them all up. And we're going to leave some gaps, so it's a little bit easier for us to do the rigging. And I probably should say, sometimes it might be a little bit easier if you turn off your snapping. So I'm going into view snapping and turning off the snaps snap to objects okay now I want to I'm going to select the arm and I'm going to do I'm going to press option and then direct click and drag and I'm going to move I'm going to rotate that. I'm going to click the free transform tool and rotate that around. I'm going to select these with my free transform tool. The leg parts, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do click option, click and drag. I'll set these over here. Okay, now we're we're ready to uh, start rigging it, creating the armature with, and we're going to uh, select our bone tool. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to start in in the root position, and that'll we're going to start um, where everything's going to be connected, and that's going to be from his ch in the center of his chest right here. And this first bone that we create is called the root bone. So I'm going to click and drag. And I'm going to I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see a little closer. So let me let me do that again. So in the center of the chest here, I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to go to the very tip of the top of his arm. And let go, and I'm going to click and drag on that joint. And I'm going to click and create another joint. I'm clicking and dragging it over to the top of this part of the arm. Let go, and then click again on that joint and drag it over to the hand. Okay, and then once again, I'm going to start. And I'm going to connect from this root position. I'm going to click there and drag to the arm. Click and drag again. And then click and drag. Don't worry about the spaces. We're going to move that later. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and click and drag onto his head and I'm going to click and drag one onto his hips now I'm going to click and drag to the top of his right leg now I'm going to click and drag 
to the top of his lower leg and click and drag onto his shoe. And then again, we'll do the other leg, click and drag, click and drag. Okay. Now it looks like we have our armature all ready set up here and let's let's take a quick look and see how that looks like it's see if it's working, which it looks like it is. Yeah. Make sure everything looks okay. All right. Now we're going to move each of these bones into the correct position now. So now we're going to um, click on our, make sure your, your selection tool is selected, and we're going to click off. And then uh, with your option, we're going to click and move the arm into position. And once again, option, click and drag over here, option, click and drag. I'm sorry, I forget what option is. Is it Alt, I think, on the PC? So Alt, click and drag. Alt, click and drag. Again, Alt, click and drag. Alt, click and drag. Or on the Mac, Option, click and drag. Option, click and drag. Option, click and drag. Option, click and drag. My foot a little bit higher up. Okay, so now we'll let me go fit in the window. Move our see if it's working, which looks like it's working okay. Pardon my birds. Now, in case you might have some some sort of issues with something that might have not worked um, or if you need to move a joint um, let's say I'm going to click on this free transform tool I'm going to click on this bone right here I'm going to move this joint over here to the center I'm going to click on my selection tool and move it so now you can see when I move it it looks like his arm is being ripped apart. And that's because sometimes you have to put these joints in, in, in the right position, in the right spot, or it, or it doesn't work right. So once again, so now if you don't have that, in the, that joint in the right position, so what you want to do is, once again, hit the free transform tool, select the bone, and then you can see this little white dot move that back into the, its correct position. And then with the free transform tool, you can also move that into position, into, into place. Okay, and then we'll go back to our selection tool. Let's see if that works. And yep, looks like it's working okay. And Let's see, in our properties, um, I guess if in here, if, if you want to change the names, instead of if it being called IK node 8, if you want to change it up in here, you can change the name. And then you have their instance also called 
monkey head, this would be the instance name up here. Um, you also have um, your sibling buttons here and your child and your parent. So let's say if I have my head selected and I want to go back down to the next sibling, you can do that. Or you can go down to the child. And that is another way you can work your way. If, if you're having a hard time selecting a piece, you can do it this way. Go to the, sometimes you can go to the parent. So that's another way to select the bones. And another way, if we want to see, maybe I'll leave that for the next lesson. We'll, we'll talk about um, how to pin these and constrain the joints instead of having them kind of it would go all over the place like that. So that'll be the next lesson. So we'll end this here now.